I finished up my workout at the gym, came out of the steam room, came out of the sauna, and I was walking a bit further down from the gym, maybe four or five minutes down. And there was a girl with a dog, and this dog kept coming up to me. And I saw this girl in the distance. I thought, I need to approach her, I need to approach her, I need to approach her. Part of me thought I wasn't, most of me thought I wasn't, but on a real level, I thought, I need to approach her, I need to approach her. This dog comes up, keeps coming up to me, keeps coming up to me. She turns around, she smiles. And then I walk a bit further up and then we start having a conversation. We start having a good conversation. I didn't get the number or anything, but we had a good conversation. I didn't want to force it straight away. And I also had a thing yesterday as well in the steam room where there was a girl in there. She was really attractive. And we had a brief interaction beforehand. I spoke to her. And then I went in, spoke to her and all that. And we had a good conversation. I was making her laugh, making her smile. It turned out she had a boyfriend. It turned out she's from London, came to Bristol for a little bit. And she has a boyfriend and that's 100 percent fine you know what i mean all i did was as soon as she said she had a boyfriend i just walked out and left it no no i didn't i didn't i didn't walk out either i i continued speaking to her asking how london was and asking how she likes bristol and all this and yeah just carry on with the conversation and then yeah continue on my day but what i want to say to you lot is why are you so afraid to approach women and what is the biggest thing that can happen? And everyone says they can just say no, they can just say no. Of course, it's all how you come off. And what I don't want you lot to do is to make some crucial steps when you do this shit, because a lot of times it's kind of daunting for you. And if you do it wrong, your confidence is going to be fucked. Your confidence is going to be fucked because a lot of people will go up and just say, oh, I thought you were pretty, can I have your number? I don't know how that'll work. You know what I mean? I don't know how that'll work. It'd probably work on nights out. But maybe in a real life interaction where there's no alcohol involved or drugs involved, it'd be a bit different, you know? And what I want to say to you lot is just spring up a conversation however you can. For example, I said to this other girl yesterday, were you in the gym earlier? And she was like, no. And then she was like, I've been swimming. I was like, how was that? And then just got in a conversation all like that, chatting about how we like the facilities here, all this shit. The other girl was chatting about the dog. And then we started speaking. And then it's just these reality things and I'm going to probably see her around here anyway. So. It didn't matter, it's not a complete, like, you know what I mean? It's a nice interaction. Proof not that fucking weird. Hope so, anyway. But, yeah. And it's one of these things. Why are you so afraid to speak to women? Why? And let's just, like, truly find the psychology of why. Because I used to feel like this. I used to be afraid, and I still get nervous. I still get nervous. And it's a weird thing, because over the past two and a bit years, I've got quite a lot of attention from women. So you think, I wouldn't be afraid, I wouldn't be afraid. I've been on dates, been with different girls, all this stuff, and got a lot of validation. But you think, you're not afraid, you're not afraid. But boy, are you still a little bit nervous, you know? Especially when I was insecure as fuck. Literally, three years ago, I couldn't speak to anyone. I was at college, I didn't speak to a single person. And that's the reality of the shit, you know? But what I will say, is you need to present the best version of yourself. So for example, let's say you get in good shape, that's gonna be amazing for your confidence, amazing for you. And overall, you just gotta learn how to have a conversation. You can't treat them like they're some fucking out of body species. You know what I mean? You can't treat them like they're some aliens, you know? Like you gotta treat them as you would, you know? Like a conversations, of course, you wanna flirt a little bit and have a bit of connection, but obviously you don't wanna do it to an extreme point where you're fucking making it weird, you know what I mean? <laughs> but there's a balance, but yeah, just ask about. Ask, what are you doing here? Or did you do this? Did you, or did you work out or whatever, you know? It's all context, so how would you know when to use that as a bridge to get into a conversation with her and ask about her? You know, you don't wanna just completely just go up blindside them, or even say you're in the gym. I've only approached one girl in the gym and you just need to ask, oh, what, what are you working out? Oh shit, do you come here a lot? You know what I mean? Just just like these, these honest questions that aren't too overly, like, I'll say sexual, but like too bad off the rip. So you actually build a little bit of connection, especially when you make them laugh. It's like so much easier. I was making this girl, these girls laugh a lot which I'm quite happy about, you know, because they're quite, they're both really attractive. So to be honest, I was surprised I was making them laugh. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. And that's a good thing, you know, that builds that connection a little bit more. Even if one had a man, the other one didn't find out that bit. But on a real level, it's just not having that fear, man. The worst thing that can happen is you have awkward interaction. Sometimes you might get turned away. I haven't been turned away, really. But if you get turned away, these just happen naturally. I wouldn't even try to make a video about it, but sometimes you may get turned away and that, that can hurt your confidence a bit but the reality is if you see a girl right now a beautiful girl and you think oh that girl could be my wife or whatever you know some cringy shit you see that girl and you're like oh my god she's beautiful she's stunning if you don't speak to her how are you gonna feel later on 
how are you going to feel? Especially if she's giving you some signs, because usually I wait for some signs, eye contact, smiles or whatever, to actually speak to them. But if you don't speak to them, how are you going to feel later on? You're going to think, fuck's sake, I fucked this opportunity up. Oh no, and then you're going to be dwelling on it. But on the other perspective, if you go up and you speak to her, if you have an interaction, tear her Instagram or Snapchat or number, whatever. And even if you don't, and you have a nice interaction and you build that confidence of speaking to pretty women, that's going to allow you to feel so much more confident when you do it again in the future. You know, it's just trial and error. It's just consistency. It's the same shit with everything else. It's consistency. It gets to a point where you're not nervous nervous at all after a bit of time, after a few vodkas. Nah, <laughs> but it gets to a point where you're not nervous, you know, and you don't really care because you're not too overly attached to the reaction that happens, if that makes sense. So, for example, me, it didn't really change my life in a sense, you know. If I get a good interaction with a girl, start seeing her, that'd be quite nice. But do I need it? A hundred percent. Do I come off as ridiculously needy? No. I, I be calm, have a good interaction, make them laugh, make them smile, ask them about herself. Then they ask you because they like you, and then you're in there. You know what I mean? They're in there. Even if let's say you go to the gym, you don't have to fucking move to them straight away. Or let's say they're around your local area, you don't have to move to them straight away. Let's say the likelihood of me seeing the other one who's walking the dog is very high, very high. Me seeing it again around the area. Seem to be out at the same time, you know what I mean? So the likelihood is that connection's better in a sense, instead of me just going for a number straight away, straight away. What's your number? What's your name? You know what I mean? Like, but on a real level, it's more so being detached from the outcome of it, in a sense, because a lot of people are just outcome independent with everything, and that's why they never achieve anything with anything. Sometimes you need that longer term mindset with it, you know? At the end of the day, obviously, you you may have a good connection or whatever with a girl but you don't want to just have something that you're so attached to that ruins you because i've done that in the past with girls where i've been so attached to the interaction or reaction therefore they can sense it and therefore they get pulled away because of it because i'm too attached to the, the the reaction or how we get on or this thing this thing and it just crushes you man crushes you you, just, you gotta be almost almost happy with with yourself and have an abundance mindset with it because there's gonna be loads of girls that you come by there's gonna be loads of girls and especially when you're in shape a lot of times they give you signs especially if you look that you're confident and you walk with confidence they're gonna give you signs you know and therefore there's still gonna be another opportunity another opportunity another opportunity so even if you may not get the number or may not get what you wanted out of that you can just use that in the future tense you know use that in the future tense use that in the future tense and then you're in a good position with it you know and then in the future you see another girl you're a bit better you're a bit better you're a bit better and then you can actually build something with them you know instead of just like being afraid and never even trying sometimes you don't even need like the number or all this stuff because a lot of people put so much emphasis on it but on a real level it don't matter in seeing them out it's more so the interaction and building the confidence with it so therefore even if you may get it may say they have a boyfriend or whatever you just speak to them a bit more and then go away. You know what I mean? You, you you accept their decision. You don't be too pushy. You don't try to like poke holes in it. You know what I mean? And then you just have a good conversation and then make them laugh, make them smile, and then you move on, you know? And then before you know it, you're in that flow state. You see another girl. You can have a conversation with her and just more opportunities open up. And that's going to be your real message in this video. Don't be so afraid. You don't have to like initially just get the number straight away. Sometimes you need a longer term mindset and sometimes you just need the practice of it. If anything, let's say you've never approached a girl in your life, a cold approach, just try to go up with a bit of confidence, be calm, and just have an interaction with them. Whether it's like, good morning, how are you doing today? You know what I mean? Just just little interactions and building that confidence with it. You don't have to be so detached on a number or the outcome or a list thing or a date, you know what I mean? On a real level, you just need to build that confidence up and that's going to allow you to feel better. And over time, you're going to be more confident and more better at these things. And that's going to be the overall message. Hope you've all got a lot of value. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Turn notifications on, please, as well.